Today we're talking about the slope of a line. Today's lesson. So what does slope mean? Well, slope's a word you guys are probably familiar with. Uh, slope is just how steep or shallow an incline or decline is. Okay, it's basically how steep something is, like a hill or something like that. Hills are probably how you're used to thinking about it, right? If this, if this dude or lady dude is climbing this hill, that's a pretty steep slope that they're going to have to climb up right here, right? Whereas if that same person is climbing this hill, that's a pretty shallow slope. That slope is not very steep. And you, of course, can also have slopes that are downhill. This would be a very steep downhill slope. So the slope is, again, just how steep or shallow something is. When we're talking about math, it's the same idea, basically. It's just we're talking about graphing instead of hills. Okay? So slope, the definition of slope in math is slope is the rise over the run. Okay? Or another way to think about it is it's the change in the y value over the change in the x value. Okay? And finally, just last way to think about it is how far up or down does a graph go versus how far side to side does that graph go? All right, so that's what we're talking about when it comes to slope. There's a special slope formula in math, and it is right here. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I know that looks confusing right now, but I promise you it's not. Okay, All this, in fact, probably looks confusing, so I think it's best if we just go ahead and look at how this applies to an actual graph. Okay, here we've got a graph, this red line here, and I wrote the slope formula right here for us to look at when we need it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do when we're trying to find the slope of this line is we're going to have to identify two of the points on the line. And here's a point here, here's the other one. Okay, so what are these two points? Let's figure it out. We always start at the origin. And we'll find this one first. Always go x direction first. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 1, 2. So that's the point uh, negative 3, comma, 2. Right? Let's find this point. It would be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3, comma, 4. Okay, great. So that was our first step. We had to identify those points. Now, we're just going to pick one of these and call it point number one, and we're going to call the other one point number two. Okay, so let's call this one point number one. Here's point number two. All right. Now we've got all the information we need to go ahead and put these numbers into our slope formula. Okay, let's look again at what the formula says. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's start putting numbers in place of these variables here. Okay, so the first one we need to fill in is y2. Well, what that means is this 2 tells us that we're talking about point number 2. Okay, so on point number 2, we're going to find the y value. Well, here's point 2, and the y value on that is this 4. All right, so that number is going to be 4. All right, minus y1. That tells us we need to find point number 1, find the y value, that's 2. So 2 goes there. All right, fine. All of that is over x2. So find point number 2, find the x, that's 3, minus x1. Here's point 1. The x value is negative 3. Okay, so now we've set up our formula. Now we just have to go ahead and subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2. 3 minus negative 3, we have to add the opposite, and we get 6. And finally, two-sixths, we can simplify down to one-third, and that is the slope of this line. One-third is the slope. Positive one-third. All right? All right, not too bad so far. Let's take a look at another example. Here we've got this green line, and we've got the same slope uh, formula here. So let's identify the points. Here's the first point. One. 1, 2, 3. All right, so this is the point 1, comma, 3. And let's just go ahead and call this point 1 while we're at it. All right, and here's the other point. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So 4, comma, negative 3. And we'll call this point number 2. Okay, now we just got to fill in the numbers. 
y2. Here's point 2, here's the y, that's negative 3. Minus y1, here's 1, here's the y, 3. Over x2, point 2, here's the x, minus x1, here's point number 1, there's the x. Alright, now we've just got to subtract. Subtracting, we're adding the opposite. So negative 3 plus negative 3 is negative 6. 4 minus 1 is 3. And negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. So the slope of this particular line is negative 2. Okay, a question usually comes up uh, sometime right about now in which people ask, how do you know which point is point number 1 and which point is point number 2? Okay, it's a good question. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to erase this. Keep in mind that our answer was negative 2. The slope was negative 2 here. And just for fun, we called this point 2 and this point 1. Let's switch them. Okay, let's say this is point number 2 and this is point number 1. And let's see what happens using the exact same formula. Okay, this time y2 is this number 3 here. So it's going to be 3 minus y1 negative 3, over x2, here's point 2, here's the x, minus x1, here's point 1, here's the x. All right, now this is what we've got. Adding the opposite, we've got 6, 1, again, adding the opposite, 1 plus negative 4 is negative 3, 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. We got the exact same slope. So there's our answer. The answer is, it does not matter which point you call point number one and which one you call point number two. But you do have to pick. You've just got to pick. Okay? Doesn't matter which ones, just pick. All right. A few more quick uh, uh, ideas I want to point out here. I've got two lines up here. I've got this blue horizontal one and this kind of orange yellow vertical line here. Okay? Let's start with the blue line. And let's find the slope of that real quick. Okay, again, first we've got the point here. It's going to be 0, comma, 3. And let's call this point number 1. And over here we've got negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Negative 4, comma, 3. And we'll call this point number 2. We go a little quicker on the formula this time, filling the numbers in. Okay, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We subtract 3 minus 3 is 0. Negative 4 minus 0 is negative 4. 0 divided by anything is 0. So the slope is 0. That's fine. We can have a slope of 0. In fact, a slope of 0 is always going to mean a perfect horizontal line like this. Okay, the slope is 0. It's like a flat surface. Okay? Now let's look at the other one, this vertical line here. Our points are 1, 2, 3, 4, we've got 4, 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, comma, negative 2. We'll call this point number 1, point number 2. And filling in the formula, we've got negative 2 minus 1 over 4, minus 4. Okay. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. And you see we have negative 3 over 0. Now keep in mind that 0 divided by anything is 0. But any number divided by 0, so basically when 0 is on bottom, you can't do that. Okay? In math, it just everything blows up. It's terrible. And instead, what we do is we call this slope, when there's a 0 on the bottom, we say the slope is undefined. This is the word that you need to use, undefined. Okay? Undefined slope means it's perfectly straight up and down. Perfectly straight up and down. Keep that in mind. There's a big difference between the 0 being on top and the 0 being on the bottom. All right. That's all the information for today about slope. Make sure you answer the question that's in the description, and we will see you tomorrow.